The 160 UPDF officers were retired from active military service. The Chief of Defense Forces, General Katumba Wamala, warned the soldiers to beware of people with selfish interests who may want to take advantage of their military experience. That's why you need to be very observant, but also listen very carefully. And don't do anything without thinking through the consequences of what you are going to do. For those people coming from Kasese, be very careful of that situation. We have the, our, the armies there in full, full swing. If you have any problem, report to the nearest security organ, the army and the police. The Bombo Camp Commandant, Brigadier Hussein Adar, says he has heard information that there are plans to recruit former soldiers from the West Nile region into wrong groups. How many people are from West Nile? Hand up, I'm from West Nile. You are many. I have received information that they are waiting for you. And they want to divert you to go to somewhere. That's up to you. But if they, somebody, meet, somebody meet, uh, meets you and they want to divert you, please report to the nearest unit. The soldiers were retired for several reasons, including age and health, as well as impairment which makes it impossible for them to continue serving in the force. Some of them who are doing peacekeeping duties in Somalia are concerned that their allowances are yet to be cleared. Put to, some of them put to me, say, we are going, we have been in Somalia, uh, our allowances, we have not known what is going about it. So I think this one also would put them at rest if you... For those of you who have been in the in the battle group serving in the in the Ansom, who have not received your, your packages. Those who are in battle group 5, 15, battle group 16, battle group 17, all those allowances which were due will be on your account latest by Friday next week.